What's up, friends of the internet? Welcome back to the Jube Tube. All right, we are about to fight the Adjudicator, who is a boss we can cheese. And my method is, if we can cheese him, we're going to cheese him. So uh, I don't judge myself. Don't judge me. I won't judge you. All right? This is for people who are new like me, and we're just trying to get the job done. Okay? No judgment. If you want to jump to the boss fight, as always, I will have timestamps down below. But if you want to go ahead and get some tips and tricks, hang tight. All right, friends, as always, tip number one is to go back to the Nexus and get yourself in soul form. If you're in soul form, obviously disregard this. But if you're in body form, I always recommend being in soul form. That way, if you die, you are not messing with world tendency. You usually want to save those events for later on. Tip number two is to make sure you have a good bow and a lot of arrows. So the hidden trophy for the Adjudicator is actually to stay above and knock him out with the arrows from above. And um, it's also the cheesy method. So you're going to get a trophy and you're going to hopefully be able to take him out. Now, he can strike through the floor, so you've got to be careful, but you should be okay. That leads me to tip number three, and that's just be on the lookout for his crazy, ridiculous tongue. He is going to try to attack you from down below. While you are staying up above him, you can definitely still get hit. I had a lot of trouble the first time, so try to stay up above. Watch out for the attack. Get your rolling timing right, and you should be okay. All right, guys, let's head into the boss fight. All right, let's go again. I don't know how many times I've died now. You can tell I'm in a different hoodie, so I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do at this point. It's supposed to be easy. We're supposed to cheese it. Ugh. Just be patient. I just need to learn to be patient. That's it. As long as we're patient, we'll be fine. I'll just cheese it. Ooh, that one was close. That one was close. I did not like that one. I did not like that one. That one was also too close for comfort. Ah. Uh. Oh, we got him. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. There it is. We are done. We are done. But as you can see, it's not a difficult boss. Um, if you are not in New Game Plus, it's much easier. Again, I think my first playthrough, it took maybe f five, six shots, maybe, maybe seven, maybe seven. And that was it. Um, this one took a lot longer. Um, you know, the New Game Plus, definitely the two things that are obviously more difficult that I notice is beyond them being more aggressive, they do far more damage, obviously, and um, you do far less damage. And so with them being more aggressive, obviously you have to be more on your toes. But like when I played him the first time too, he hit me several times with his tongue because I couldn't get the timing down. Um, but it, it, it never got to the point where I was almost dead. And here it's two hits and he's so much he's so aggressive that like if you don't time your healing correctly he's gonna hit you again so um i think what i figured out was he when you hear the bird call he's going to attack right but he's going to attack where you are at that time and what i kept doing was rolling forwards and backwards and he was gonna hit right in that area because that's where i was when the bird call happened but if i stay right towards the edge he's gonna attack that edge so he's got to roll back move forward shoot roll back and, and i was screwing that up so once i figured that out it was it was easier uh by no means <laughs> um was it easy it was easier um but we now have the most 
ridiculous farming area um, for souls unlocked, which is good because I need to um, <laughs> boost myself up a bit. Um, but we're going to end this video here, guys. Thankfully, this is finally done. We can move on with our day. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.